Californian redwoods from the coastal, western coastal plains of America. They're the tallest li living things. The biggest one alive today is 387 feet tall, uh, probably a girth of uh, uh, 40 foot across. Um, uh, they will live actually into eternity because they clone themselves as they get older. Uh, hey, congratulations. We're, we're really excited about this. We're going to plant a copse of 100 uh, trees to the north of the site in as little as 20 years' time because they grow at 10 feet a year when they get going. Uh, you will start to see them peaking well above uh, that landscape and be starting to scrape the sky. Um, and these 100 have been taken from the 100 biggest redwoods. Uh, and the idea is that they, are, they form a living library. And the one I'm holding here, you see it's, uh, it says it's from the Fieldbrook stump. And for those of you who know about these things, the Fieldbrook was the biggest uh, tree uh, in the world. What Tim and Eden are doing here is planting an eternal forest, literally. And that's how we should take a look at uh, a model of what we design, more intelligent design of whatever we utilize, consume. If we, if we could broaden our timeline. Um, instead of just our lifetime or the moment. And we went about, about things more intelligently, design things more intelligently like this tree does. I think it would be far better off for our grandchildren and beyond. This, this climate here is, is what this species of tree has thrived in for several million years, actually. And that climate is no longer available in California anywhere to this tree. So this tree is rewriting what we know as the limits and size of age, height, and girth of the largest living things on Earth.